The game of Yahtzee is played with a scorecard and five dice, and can be played as a solo game or with opponents. And the scorecard looks intimidating, but the game is relatively simple. What you're trying to do is roll your dice and make the highest scoring combinations possible. The score sheet is separated into two halves. The upper section is about rolling certain numbers, and the lower section is all about rolling certain combinations. Some of the goals are more straightforward than others, so let's run through a few. Before we do though, I'm going to explain how a turn works. Each turn, you have three rolls. The first roll, you just roll all your dice, and then the next two rolls are optional. You can re-roll any dice that you wish. You can even re-roll all of them if you need to. At the end of your turn, you have to score, even if that score is zero. All right, let's go for an example this time. For our first roll, let's see what we've got. We've got two twos, a three, a four, and a five. Already, we have the makings of a small straight, which is something that we can score, but we can get a higher score if we get a longer straight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take that extra two and see if we can get a one or a six. This time we roll another four, which means we have a double four, which is another score we could go for, but we want to get that six. So we're going to use our last reroll to see if we can get a six, and there we go. We have our large straight. That means we can score 40 points. Now scoring a goal is a good thing. Of course, it's the point of the game. But once you score a goal, you can't score that goal again. If later in the game we roll another large straight, well, we can't score it twice. On this turn, we've rolled three ones right off the gate, and that can be used to score a number of goals, so let's re-roll these two and see what we can get. So we've got a six and a two, not very helpful, so we're just gonna roll again. This time we get pretty lucky and roll two sixes. That's a full house, and that's something that we can score on our score sheet. It's 25 points. Now here's a situation where I didn't roll as many sixes as I wanted to, and the others aren't going to score me very much, and I've already filled in the twos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the threes, something that I haven't rolled at all, and just put a zero there, because I want to get a higher score with my sixes, and I don't want to fill that in with something low. Instead of sacrificing a goal like that though, you could also add up all five dice and just put them into the chance goal category. You can only do this once per game, but it's a good way to get a lot of points if you rolled high, but it doesn't really fit in any of the other goals. As stated before, once you fill in a value into the goal box, you can't fulfill that goal again. The one exception is if you get five of a kind, which is called a Yahtzee. Unlike all the other scores in the game, Yahtzees can be scored again and again, as many times as you can roll them. The first Yahtzee you score is 50 points, and every other Yahtzee that you get is 100 points. So, you really want to get Yahtzees. The game ends once every player has filled out all the goals on their score sheets. Each player adds up all their scores, including the bonuses, and whoever has the highest score wins the game. So that's how you play Yahtzee. It's a pretty easy game, really fun, and I encourage you to give it a try. And until next time, this is Hogwash. Over and out, I'll catch you later.